Table of Unfoldment, Shrine of Success, Heaven's Tabernacle, Wealth of God, Always Within, Get in the Spirit through Pray and Worship and everything you do will be perfect through Him. Satan destroys even the most pious on the road called waiting, but the one who knows how to wait on God is the one who will grasp the inheritance with delighted ease and dwell in the realms of patience receiving the greatest revelations in simplest form. The key to unlock is the word to activating as the move of government, tapping in is expanding, trying to find value and purpose on the outside is losing insight for it is all within the Holy Spirit. The universe and everything in it unfolded from one seed, the word of God formed that seed, your words form universes and existence all around you for the power of life and death is in the tongue, if Adam didn't sin we would have never experienced the greatest attributes of God such as forgiveness and grace and mercy and would have never had the privilege of God dwelling inside of us, everything that will ever happen God will make greater good because the Lord is greater than sin and this world, the more you experience God the greater and greater he becomes and the higher and higher your experiences with God go, for those in Christ it will only get better and better for all eternity, there are all revelations in one word but there is a force of magnitude behind, there is a central observation in all things forming the paths of all connections to all memories past present and future of God, but as the cross is directed in all directions so is map of God's secrets which dwell in his heart to unlock through understanding and intimacy you will taste the soul of God, there are deeper layers to the spirit that unlock deeper emotions and deeper cries from the soul resulting in deeper worship resulting in the depths of God which is become, don't just go higher go deeper, too many Christians go high without deep roots and Satan destroys them, sugar and fat block the mind and pineal gland as a chain preventing consciousness from awareness of the reality of God, fluoride and toothpaste weaken and slow your spiritual glands and put bars around higher vibrations and higher light which results in experiencing God who is the source of light, human beings, the government are not your enemies, Satan and his kingdom is your enemies, know your enemy and become the right warrior for the right cause which is truth and exposing the lies of darkness for if you do these things you will fulfill the eternal will of God and flow in the passion of Christ and the zeal and power and favor and glory you won't have to chase for it will consume you. There are levels that lead to dimensions that lead to equilibriums which are dimensions that ascend your spirit light speed past all quasars, the universe is a chain of command and governmental system and spiritual hierarchy of ascension in the Holy Spirit, every speck is a key code of revelation which we on earth call information, every step is a new constellation which is all history and memory storage and every word thought deed action that every took place is there waiting to be explored and for you to unlock hidden potential, if scientists who are atheists have found God in the hidden paths and the smallest particles, this wisdom God has given to all of us and many people carry this knowledge but the wrong source, when you carry this knowledge and use it to bring people to Jesus Christ you will become a massive threat to Satan and you will go to war but the more you war the more you liberate the kingdom of heaven and by destroying the works of Satan you are putting the enemies of God under the feet of Christ and fulfilling all things, Satan has blinded the body of Christ with the spirit of religion, we are limited because we have religious thought processes, we in the body of Christ have creation power power, healing power deliverance power, we have the power and answer and cure to all diseases sickness death and hold the key to all truth and freedom and life but we who carry the key which is Christ have become silent and accepted defeat and we will be held accountable strongly before the Lord if we don't use the power God has given us through Christ to bring salvation to the nations, we as the government of Christ are supposed to have the greatest influence and power on earth and bring the systems of heaven to this earth but as the prophecy said many people will fall off in the end times and turn from the faith, we must must repent and change our ways in Jesus' name.